Hey guys, it's Rain. So today I wanted to share with you how to make this chained pearl earrings. For this, I'm going to be using this personal clay. I love using this kind of clay to make these accessories and a lot of things actually, but I really like it because it's really easy, you know, to use. But you can use polymer clay if you prefer. It's pretty much like the same method. So I'm just going to be grabbing this match. I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper and then I'm going to be rolling this. Once I have a thin layer of clay, I'm going to be using a baking tool and it's the Wilton 12. Using the smallest, this is the part that the icing comes through. I'm going to be cutting four like circles out of that and then I'm going to be making them into balls or spheres. Once I have all my four clay figures i'm going to be using some pins and for two of them i'm going to be just pinning one pin on the clay like so and for the other two i'm just going to be adding two of them with a bit of like 90 degree angle and i'm going to let them dry like this if you are using polymer clay for this work with regular or just standard pins and then bake it and then i'm going to use this uh, nail polish that i love the color of it is like pearly painting them so they can resemble pearls if you know of any uh, acrylic paint pretty one that looks like pearls just let me know down below i'm looking for one but yeah then i'm going to let them dry in a piece of block of foam i'm going to be using this and the anti chain that is like copper. I don't really know what's the name of the chain, I just saw it on the store. Then I'm going to be using four ear wires. You can use eye pins for this, but I just had them in gold. But yeah, so I'm just going to be cutting that part, like the earring part, and then turn them into eye pins. I'm going to be cutting my chain into one inch twice for each earring. I'm just going to be making sure my chains, like two chains, are the same size or the same length. I'm going to use two ear pasts and I'm going to cut like the disc part because I just need the pointy part of the earring. I'm going to remove pins and pretty much then going to assemble the whole thing using my super glue, gluing my like mini eye pins to the four of my clay uh, spheres and then for two of them gluing the earring part like that. Then I'm going to be opening my loop and then in goes the chain and then I'm just going to close it. And just make sure though for the chain, like the jump ring, bottom and top are like facing the same direction. The eye pins are going to be looking like the same direction, like, like straight down, if that makes any sense at all. Like here, this is what happens when your chain is like uneven. It's like a detail that is almost not visible when you're wearing the earrings as you're moving. But yeah, something to keep in mind. But yeah, guys, these are the earrings that I want to share with you. You can paint them if you don't want them pearl and you want them black for Halloween or just something else, you can do that. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you these ones. I love them. They're really easy to, to pair off with anything. You can dress them up, dress them down. For me, they look the nicest when my hair is up because the earring becomes the whole uh, focal point. To me, they look kind of like vintage and dainty but with a bit of a niche. They are really easy to make, pretty lightweight and they go with everything. But yeah, I really hope you like this beautiful pair. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more earrings that I have on my channel, subscribe for more, let me know what you think of them and share them. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!